Kennedy, you're coming off two really good games, and maybe your best game against South Carolina when you talk about assists and turnovers and how many minutes you played. And Coach said he's seen a different mindset from you since you got back from Texas. Just how much did that motivate you when he sat you for those last four or five minutes at Texas? And it was last week a result of, of that? Uh, after that game, you know, I learned a lot, honestly. And me and him, I had I had to talk with Coach Barnes and just let him know that this game meant it's a learning lesson for me. And I learned a lot from that game, sitting and watching the last four minutes of the game. I wasn't mad at anything. I just, you know, staying, I'm still cheering my team on from that game. And after the game, TJ Forehead talked to me, took me on the court, and told me uh, a few things, you know, just about the game and what Coach Barnes expect and what he learned from as a player from him when Coach Barnes had coached him. So ever since that game, you know, it's been my mindset has changed. <clears throat> How are you better defensively? Where have you improved in that area? And do you get lost in the game when you do focus on the defense like Rick talks about? Um, they're just, you know, mental-wise, honestly. Before, I wasn't, you know, locked in, off ball. You know, it's a great, off, a great on ball. But off ball, you know, sometimes I'll fall asleep. But, you know, I've been staying more locked in. And these last few games, ever since Texas game, I just I had a different mindset, honestly, and just keeping – Locked in on a defensive end, and you know, coach said if I'm playing hard on defense. You know, my offense game will come, which is he's it's been it's been you know going on. So, you know, just staying more locked in and you know, competing hard every single possession. Kendrick, coach has talked about how much you've learned through the course of the season. What specifically have you learned? <clears throat> Honestly, just you know, each game is different. Each team has a different game plan for us, and. Whether what they do on defense, you know, each game won't be the same. You won't do the same thing you did the last game. So that's what I learned since I've gotten to college that each team's going to have a different game plan for you and you got to come prepare every single game. And I'll take it for granted. Rick said that uh, the Texas game wasn't the first time that you all or that you and TJ had spoken and, and him trying to give you some advice. Just how often do you all speak and just kind of what have you learned from him? Uh, we. He's he texted me one time out of nowhere. I think um, I can't remember what after what game it was. It was he texted me a, a, a long message and just telling me, you know, do I have any questions? So I asked him all the questions I I had for him, and you know, we talked on the phone. We talked, we text each other. So you know, he gives me great advice. You know, just coming from playing for Coach Barn for two years, he gave me great advice and what me as a point guard needs to do for this team and. After the Texas game, me seeing him in person, talking to him in person, really helped me a lot. You know, it's different from talking to somebody on the phone and texting in person. So I really learned a lot from what he's told me. Just keep playing hard and, you know, just get to my spots on the court that, you know, you're lethal in and get to that spot and everything else will come to you. Yeah, just getting to my spots, honestly, not selling for threes, Cole Barnes always said, you know, stuff like that. And just my mid-range, you know, just getting to that spot, my my hot spot, you know, knowing where my good spots on the court and knowing where my bad spots on the court. That's what Coach Barnes and TJ has taught me. How has he helped you with Rick? Is that just how you communicate with Rick or how? what, what are those conversations like? Um, he's told me just, like, after the Texas game, he just told me you have to let Coach Barnes know, communicate with him more. Because when he sees a point guard not talking, he thinks something wrong. He's not into the game. He's not locked in. So ever since that game, you know, if I see something, he's like, talk to Coach Barnes during the free throw. So I, everything I see, wherever I see through the game, I go to Coach Barnes, talk to him during the free throw, time out, tell Coach Barnes what I see on the defensive end and see how they're playing me, see how they're playing the coverages, seeing how they're tagging, who they're helping. So that's what I've been doing. That's what he's taught me to do with Coach Barnes from ever since the Texas game. Kennedy, since the Texas game, the offense struggled. The last two games, you scored like 90 and 81 points. What's been the key? Why do you think the offense has been more efficient the last two games? Uh, for me, I feel like we're just pushing the ball more. Uh, uh, we're not walking the ball to the court now. Uh, we're pushing it, getting up with speed. And I feel like nobody's really overthinking like we did the, uh, these past couple of games that we had early in the years. We were all overthinking about certain shots to take, what should we do? And I feel like everybody's playing with more confidence and it's going to keep going and continue to get better and better, just watch the film and continue to learn from the mistakes that we made. And, you know, I feel like 
if we keep, can continue to do this, then you know we could be lethal on the offensive end because we know we're capable of on the defensive end as well. But you know, I feel our offense has gotten a whole lot better these last two games, and we just got to keep on doing it and get ready for this game on Wednesday. <clears throat> just defensively, how much does Olivier mean to to you all defensively, and how much will his presence be missed? Um, he's he's probably our best one of our best defenders, honestly. Just. A shot blocker, you know, somebody like the block he had in soccer line is crazy. And, you know, we're going to miss somebody that's doing that. So we just need somebody else, you know, to better fill in, take his spot, and better do the same thing he did, bring the same energy that he had, same competitiveness. So that's what we're going to have some people that need, that's going to have to step up to fill in his presence. <clears throat> Josiah Jordan James had some descriptive words for Zakai Ziegler after the last game. Now he's been named Freshman of the Week. What would you describe Zakai Ziegler as? Uh, I feel like people take him for granted just because his height. Uh, you, that's why I knew. That's what I have told him when he got here. I said, you could better beat a lot of people, and people going to take you for granted, and that's what they've been doing. Just because he's that short doesn't mean anything. He's competitive. He's a gnat. And he plays hard every single time, and you know that's what he did. That's what he's been doing ever since he got here. He's helped me in practice, and we compete with each other every single day. So both of us get better every single day, and you know we take it towards the game. And you know he just bring when he comes off the bench, he just brings the energy, and that's what we need for somebody to do to come off the bench to bring energy. <laughs>